Ooh, in this version I have um, fixed a lot of lot of bugs and my debugger uh, went kind of crazy. So I have to write some own tools to make it easier to debug. And finally, I think I fixed um, some of the most important. I got a report about the a bug in the SOG import from two days ago and um, this is now fixed and I want to show you this um, here is another feature I can show you can uh, in a skeletonizer you can let's create a simple figure here Okay, so um, yes, you saw the grid and uh, the helplines. And um, under important SVG graphics, I got sent um, some test files. So this is a cartoon character in um, the SVG format. And the problem was because of um, relative and, and the difference between relative and absolute coordinates. I added a new. If you have tried the log performance, this um, uh, takes uses several uh, stopwatches and ca sums the times up so you can uh, find how much overall performance Stickman is doing. And I added a shake mode also for the same people who uh, try to find bugs and test the stick and stability. And this shake mode is shaking this uh, mode here. So you can see how often it is updating the graphics. And if uh, something doesn't work, you can see if it is because of the, the graphics not updating or if there's something wrong with the operation you have so this, uh, these two tools are for the for uh, contributing to stickman and uh, in stickman we got uh, a great new feature I think uh, many will like it okay so I'm just adding this frog here um, the old way to animate with stickman was that you when you move this control point you have to go down select a new keyframe and move and you see it, it plays out but uh, say I want to um, use both my hands so I can now use the the left and the right key on the keyboard so I can see how it works frame by frame so let's go to any frame and I move this up like this okay so this to and see how it is okay uh, this is also also great for drawing and um, you can um, I changed the color I had a light bright blue color here before but I changed this with a black gradient and um, this is because uh, when you when you look at the mood, you are using your side vision and the side vision has a few color pigments and makes it more difficult to see colors so by using black instead it is much more easier for your eyes to see ok 
Uh, I made all these chairs, so I see this. I got okay. Uh, in the title here, uh, there is it shows how many operations you have done. So the dialog which uh, displays um, you should save now. This is gone, and you can use the under operation and go back. Okay, so um, uh, this uh, was the new features I'm um, in a discussion with um, the users that finds the most bugs. Um, there are some uh, bugs that are not yet fixed, and if you find some, please report. Um, I'm taking notes and keep them in case uh, I can solve them immediately. But uh, Stickman is yet in uh, alpha version. Uh, okay, another thing I forgot is that. Um, oh, wrong software. Uh, in. I changed. It was a kind of confusing what was the future of the game engine. And uh, uh, I changed this to instead of game, I chose a game asset. So what you do when you use the game infrastructure, you are developing a th something you can put in a game, but it's not the game itself, and um, it will use the the stigma structure, but that is more uh, beh behind the scenes. And um, I will build the, this an um, an editor for that, but that I will start on that for. Probably for uh, Stickman 5.8. So in this version, I will just ship and uh, fix the bugs, uh, add some features, uh, and make it a better. Because uh, I worked a month or so about it now, and uh, it's time to um, get some doing some other things and get inspirations. So I don't burn me out completely, but get back with the new creative powers. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Vin Nielsen, the creator of Stigma Elemental, and if you want to follow these uh, videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for watching.